Hello, this is Troy, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee. Today I'm going to show you how I program my IC705. The software I'm using is the one you can download from ICOM, the CS705. And what I do is I go to Repeater Book, and uh, if you don't have an account set up with them, you go ahead and set, set one up. Uh, it's free. You go to the repeater section that you want. In my case, uh, it's United States, and I'm going to choose Oregon. And you have a list of all the repeaters in Oregon by, and and they're broken down by different, you know, uh, categories. You can go, you know, by by uh, two meter or the features. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go by county. So you click uh, the one you want. In this case, I'm going with county, and it lists all the repeaters in that county. What you want to do is go to Export, ICOM, CS705, and yes, I agree to use it for personal use. And right here is the group index number and group name. So what you want to do is, uh, if you don't have one already in CS705, you hit Add Group, double click that, and this one's going to be th number three. It's my next one. You can pick whatever one you want. So I'm going to go group three. I'm going to name it Marion for the county. Hit I agree. Download. And what it does is it downloads a CSV file. So if I open this up, it's going to use Excel or if you have like Open Office, that will work as well. And what it does is it pulls everything in. You can change anything you want here. If you want to change the name, uh, you can change your group name, you can change the group number, and save that, or you can leave it the way it, way it was. So I'm going to go back to uh, the CS705, and I'm going to right-click on the group that I want to do. I'm going to import group. If you do all, it will overwrite everything in the memory channel. So I will go to my downloads where I saved it. Here's the file. I hit open. It's going to say, do you want to import this? Yes. And it pulls it in. Now there's a few um, that doesn't work. Uh, the uh, 220s. Um, what you can do, you can, you can uh, delete those right here or uh, you can go into that CSV file and go through and delete the ones that you don't want. And then save it and you can go pull those open. Um, and I found that it does some, sometimes it'll do weird things like this, how it put this 1.6 in there. Uh, you you know you want to make sure and go through and just kind of validate uh, you got every the numbers are correct um, I'm not sure why it does that the other thing I also found is uh, when you pull in a DTCS one it puts a DTCS dash R on there and it doesn't like that so what I do is I go edit the the, the uh, CSV file to have the correct uh, DT so it says DTCS and that and that way when I install it into or when I import it into uh, CS705 it works fine. Then all you have to do is upload it to the radio and you have your radio programmed. All right, well that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. 73.